Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm creating a very special meal, Quatsi Gogo. Google asks us to make some very nice meal, and um, I'm making the Ataweye milk. It's a Ghanaian, um, you know, um, desert, dessert rather, you know. So, um, yes, we're starting now. I'm showing you guys what we're cooking, you know. So, this is my very first time trying on kitchen duties, and I hope I look like a chef. So, um, what we have here, come, come, let me just show you what we have in the box. Um, so, in the box here, we have Strawberries, mixed fruits, we have tofu here, we have the kiwi fruits here, um, nicely diced, we have tiger nuts, what Yorubas call ofio, um, we have digestive biscuits, we have vanilla flavors and colorants, we have um, oil here, I'm showing what is the oil for also, um, what else again? Oh yes, so we have um, ground rice, we have ground rice, we have almond powder and we have sugar. We have sugar. So these are basically all of the things we'll be needing for making a very, very interesting um, you know, recipe for today. And this is in relation to the Google Africa Day, which is to open up your Africa. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm making the Atadway milk, like I said. Shout out to Google for this very lovely experience. I'm doing this with my family members. So um, let us see how it goes. All right. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so the very first thing we're doing is for the biscuit, we would have to blend the biscuit. So um, I will just you know take this out right now. Then we'll blend the biscuit. So let me just put the biscuits we're having to blend. So I have this here, it's a napkin, and more importantly, I have this very neatly used, um, you know, neat brand new and catchy. I'll show you what I'm using it for, but I'm just gonna put the biscuits here. So we get to blend it. I'll show you why we're blending the biscuits really soon. Okay, so um, here is a fine, well blended version of the biscuits, the digestive biscuits I showed you. You see? Okay, so um, having done that, we need to pour. Um, for benefit of doubt, what we did was we poured our well blended digestive biscuits and then we put them in a small ceramic bowl so we're able to pour. Uh, oil in it, just a little bit of the oil, you know, so it doesn't get. We want this to form a little bit of pudding, you know. So this is the digestive biscuit with the oil in it. Now I'll show you what we're using this for. Now we're saving this also for the dressing, you know, because it needs to be pretty, obviously. So um, having done this now, this is the well-washed tiger nut, you know. So we have to blend. The well washed tiger nut, also now, so yeah, that's pretty much done. So, this is the well washed tiger nut, which we call Ophio, like I said. So, you pour your tiger nut into your blender to ensure, and then you pour water to fill up the same level with the tiger nut. The water needs to be up to the level of the tiger nut, so it would make a very nice tiger nut puree. Okay, so um, having done this, you cover your blender and then you blend. For more importance, you know, you could just sing along while blending. Having done that, you take your well blended tiger nut puree and um, pour it into a clean bowl. So I'm using this because I need to use this to sieve out um, the entire milk from the puree. So I'm just going to show you um, what I'm doing now. Please don't forget to wash your hands when you're doing this. Very essential. So you see, we dry out the entire milk.
that's why you need a clean cloth so you're able to dry out the full milk from the tiger nut period then you blend it again and again and again so this is the outcome of the blended um, tiger nut so it comes in a very thick milk form i wish i could show you what it looks like but uh you probably just see it when we put it right on fire so next thing you will do now is ensure that you boil this puree on low medium heat you know low medium heat that's what you're boiling with and then you stay to ensure that there is no lump or what or what we call cocoa in your land. you understand you have to boil it stay it properly and then i'll show you the next step so let's get ready to boil it. so don't forget low medium heat so you pour your puree your tiger nut puree right into you know right into this see once you stir it becomes thick compared to how much it was before and to know how thick um to know if your puree is fine this is what you can actually do to it you know you separate this if it doesn't come together then that means it's fine and it's good to go it tastes lovely by the way Mm, it tastes good actually so um you would pour your well grounded sugar in it then evaporated milk also in it you know to give it that cream lush lushness you know while still at this you stir then um, you pull a little bit of the vanilla flavor you know, just put just a little bit more if you need to I'm sure it's a bit too thin, so it doesn't become too. Thin. Mm. Smells absolutely delicious. So basically, we put um, a little bit of granite oil by the edges of this, you know, and then dipped it in our biscuit to make the presentation and the dressing look really fine. So we'd have um, this here, then a little bit of our uh, puree. That's the biscuit puree we made on the biscuit pudding. We will pour it a little bit in here. So guys, this is basically the outcome of our very nice, lovely Ghanaian um, meal. And the truth is, we've done five different dressings. This is digestive, the puree, and a little bit of jam. Then we have digestive, the puree, strawberry with kiwi, a little bit of our, of our dressings. Then here we did two different layers. If you look at it, we have the biscuit pudding, we have the tiger nut pudding, we have a biscuit layering, tiger nut layering with sweet kiwi. And here is my favorite, you know. Here we did something close like um, to a martini glass where we um, sort of had the biscuit crumbles by the edge and then we had a, and then we have our kiwi with our mixed fruit. So this is basically what we made for the Google Africa Day. And I do hope you guys love it. It tastes as delicious as it looks, I can tell you. And it was done with the help of all of the family members here, you know. So uh, they're all behind the cameras. We have Prince, we have my mom, we have my older sister, we have Dio, you know. And um, yeah, so this is basically, I can't wait to. Please, I will need a spoon to taste what this, to know what this tastes like. Because I've tried it before, but for the sake of trying. Ooh, see how lush it looks. We're opening our family restaurant very soon and this is what you call fine dining guys and i do hope you enjoyed the meal thank you so very much to google i honestly do appreciate the opportunity you know, to try to cook something like this let me see you make your videos open up your africa hashtag google hashtag open up your africa and we'll be seeing you guys shortly welcome to chef beck's kitchen